Welcome to Saving the Past. I am GD. Glad you could all join me today. Well, it has been some time since I have purchased any new silver except for um, coins, um, which I've done videos on. But not long ago, um, any of you that have been following me know that I traded in some... I had been selling silver in uh, the range that uh, I had thought that it would be going to in the $25 to $30 range. And um, I had sold a, a number of pieces of silver. And then a couple of weeks ago, I went to a coin show and did some trading, which if any of you have followed my videos, you saw that I traded some silver for a couple of Carson City Morgan dollars and uh, for a $1 uh, gold piece, U.S. gold piece. But yesterday I had somebody get in touch with me locally here and they had a piece of silver that they wanted me to take a look at that um, had been in their family for a while and uh, they just wanted to get rid of it. It was the only piece of silver that they had. And since I had done so well on some of the other silver that I had bought, I thought that um, I would take a look at it. So, let me just show it to you folks. I think it's a pretty cool piece. Um, it is marked on it, 1st Earl of Beaconsfield, 1801 to 1881, Benjamin Disraeli um, on the front. And on the reverse, I would assume this is a coat of arms that's here. I might be getting too much light on it. It says 1971. Fine ounce silver, 999 plus. So let's get this light a little bit turned here so maybe this shows up a little bit better. So uh, um, I did wind up buying this. Um, I wound up buying it for the spot price, which I thought was pretty fair. So I just thought I would share it with you. And um, I've got a scale out here. It winds up being just under an ounce. It weighs 0.975 ounces. If I switch this over to grams, that should put it somewhere around 30, a little over 30 grams, 30.4 grams. And um, I also did do a test on it. So let me show you that. Let's see, let's bring this out. Let's turn the power on. Let's see if we can get this so that uh, it shows properly. Uh, let's see how I can do this. Let's see. Let's get it set up first. We're going to get it down to pure silver, 999.99%. Point, or I'm going to lift the camera up. And uh, that way you could see the scale on it. We'll lay this on here. And let's just see. Oh, I forgot to push run. Place sample on. And it's within the brackets. So it is silver. It's just under an ounce of silver. And it came with this card which I thought was pretty interesting. It says, Lion Six Corporation, thank you for participating in our recent Booth's House of Lords Gin Survey. Sincerely, Lion Six Corporation. And the back is plain. Uh, there's some stains here, and I was told that originally this had a ribbon that went across it. The coin sat in here, and there was a ribbon across it. <clears throat> which the ribbon is long since gone. But um, again, it's been quite some time since I've bought any silver. I don't generally buy up into this range here unless I'm pretty positive that it's going to go higher. And right now I'm just sitting to watch and see what happens. But when something like this comes along, which was pretty interesting, and because I sold a bunch of silver not long ago and traded silver, I figured that um, I could take this particular piece on because it just wasn't that much money. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you folks today. So yes, 
If something interesting comes along and it's a good buy, I will definitely partake in it. And because I bought this, I actually bought this for um, about $21. So it was just a little bit under um, the spot price of silver on it. So I thought that was a pretty good buy. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you folks today. And um, I hope you're all doing well. And let's hope that the uh, price of silver and gold decide to make another run for it. But uh, the next four weeks is going to be pretty telltale, actually, uh, right up until the election. And maybe even after the election, because <clears throat> from all that I'm hearing, there's going to be a lot of controversy over this election. And with the president now having COVID, we will have to see what's going to happen. Um, so I would think that the market's going to be a little bit disrupted here for a little while. And there may be some good opportunities here. Um, you know, we may very well go back down and test the $20 range, and we may even break through that uh, down to the low side. If it does, I would tend to think that's probably a buying opportunity. Um, if it breaks out above 30, well, that might be another buying opportunity. But um, I am not actively looking for silver right now. I am just actively looking for coins. So if a good buy comes along like this, that's an interesting piece. Yeah, I'll probably add it, but I won't be buying any large quantities. Anyway, again, until next time, I'm glad you could all join me today. Hope you're all doing well. And I will be producing some more videos here over the next week or so, showing some more of my Carson City dollars and uh, some other Morgans that I have. And I also have some slabbed half dollars and some miscellaneous pieces that I want to share as well. Okay, folks, until next time, you take care. Have a great day. This is GD.